your teacher just wants you to remember the difference between oxidation and reduction. So they taught you Leo says Ger. Leo stands for a loss of electrons is oxidation. See how loss starts with L, electron starts with E, O is for oxidation. And similarly, a gain of electrons is a reduction. The point here is that if you see a reaction or half reaction, and you can figure out if electrons are being gained or lost, you can also identify it as being oxidation or reduction. Let's do a few examples. Lithium is breaking apart to give lithium positive ions and electrons. The electron that was inside the lithium atom has been plucked out. It's now a separate product and you're left with a cation. Here, this lithium is clearly losing its electrons because the electron is no longer with the lithium. Oh, a loss of electrons, that must be an oxidation. Nice. Here we have nitrogen and it is absorbing three electrons. It becomes an N minus three charged particle that N has gained electrons because they have combi combined and two became one. If nitrogen is gaining those electrons, a gain of electrons is a reduction. Nice. Now here I have a regular or a complete chemical reaction, not just a half reaction. I got calcium, the pure element, reacting with chlorine also the pure element, to make calcium chloride the ionic compound. Now we usually say that pure elements have a oxidation number of zero. What's happening here is we formed an ionic compound, but what were the charges on each particle? Well, calcium, the metal, likes having a charge of positive two. Chlorine likes having a charge of minus one, and there are two of them. So in total, those charges add to zero, which is why there's no charge written there. But look, those charges, although I'm calling them oxidation numbers, are different from what they were. Calcium broke apart, gave two electrons away to who knows where to become a positive ion, just like this lithium did. Calcium becoming calcium two plus is an oxidation. That's because it's losing electrons. A loss of electrons is oxygen, get it? Similarly, chlorine, each of the chlorines is becoming Cl minus. Each of those is gaining electrons. The charge is getting more negative and that is called a reduction. Together, this makes what we call a redox reaction because one thing's getting reduced and the other is getting oxidized. But you're here for the mnemonic. Leo says Ger, loss of electrons is oxidation. Ger, gaining electrons is reduction. Ah, I hope that was as fun for you as I pretended it was for me. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.